What's going on guys? My name is Dia and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm gonna be playing some Dead by Daylight and we're actually be playing the brand new killer, The Lich. If you guys haven't seen anything that's coming out in probably the last week or so, um, there is a new killer in the game with the new Dungeons and Dragons update. I've already kind of seen everything because I went to record this video yesterday and I, by when I threw into the editing software, once after it all updated, and it didn't have any fucking audio. Um, here is the lich with the skin. It is called the Whispered One. And it's kind of just all the skulls and the bones and everything of the people that he's been killing in his dungeon. And that's him without the skin. This is the variation we're gonna play. I could have gotten the Blade of Mayhem, which is a slightly reskinned version of his wet of his dagger. I, that would require me spending seven dollars. I would get him, the survivor, I think, and. I think that's gonna be like seven bucks, but I ended up buying just the killer because I don't play Survivor, so I don't see a point in purchasing it. If I if, my, if the idea changes down the road, then I might buy the bundle. I don't know. Um, but this is also the weapon that comes with it. It's called the Inquisitor's Dagger. He is actually a super cool character. I read the lore the other day. I'm not gonna reread it. If you guys want to read it, you're more than welcome to. But basically, he is somebody who specialized completely in schools of magic, and in his universe. Everybody picked a school of magic to perfect, but he chose to master all of them, but had an extreme obsession with necromancy. Necromancy being his preferred school, he decided to ba basically drove him insane and turned him evil. He ended up finding something uh, like the tomb, I think it's the one in his stomach, that is completely of like a language he couldn't like read. And so he tried to decipher it, and as he was deciphering it and learning it, the fog from the Dead by Daylight universe started coming in and consuming him. And using the spells he knows and memorized and such, he ended up trying to push back the fog, but he realized that it was stronger than him, and he wanted the power that came with it. So the power that came with it, he decided to let it capture and consume him, and he hopes that through being here, he will he will learn this power, and he will basically learn to control it. But I do have, I do have the Lich all the way to level 19, and I don't have a lot of blood points, so we're just gonna kind of wait. I ended up getting the level three versions of his perks being Weave Attunement. When an item is dropped for the first time, it is, you see the auras of dropped items and survivors within 12 meters have their auras revealed to you. When a survivor picks up a survivor item, they suffer oblivious for 30 seconds. And then I have Dark Arrogance at level three, increases the duration you are blinded by any means and the duration of pallet stuns by 25%. And it increases your vault speed by 25. And then I only have level one of Languid Touch. When a survivor within 36 meters of you scares a crow, they gain exhausted for six seconds and that has a 20 second cooldown. I'm gonna be honest, I think Dark Arrogance is by far the worst perk in this list. Um, because of some of his powers he has, or some of his spells, he has four different spells. He has Mage Hand, which will lift down pallets and blocks pallets for four seconds. Flight of the Damned is five flying skeletons that you send in this giant, like, array. And they spread out so you can, like, dodge them out, like, by standing in the middle of them and such. Um, Dispelling Sphere, which will reveal survivors and disables magic items, but it's fucking massive. And fly, which lets you ignore vaults and pallets, and you can just fluck and fly at people. Um, then there's magic items for the survivors. Treasure chests found around the map can contain magic items for survivors to equip. There are boots and gauntlets of the following. The interloper, when mage hand is used, it reveals the auras of affected pallets and applies haste for three seconds. Um, the night watch reveals the, or reveals the auras of the flight of the damned. The archivist makes the dispelling sphere visible so you don't get hit by it. And Skyguard reveals my aura when I'm flying. Lastly, we have the hands and eyes of Vec- Um, these are special items that give additional effects based for the lockers. If you have the hand of Vecna and you fast entry a locker, it'll teleport you to the farthest locker, I believe, from where you are, not the killer's position. So you could teleport yourself into the killer if misplayed. And then the eye of Vecna, um, if you fast exit a locker, you will hide your aura and gain haste for 12 seconds. And we're just gonna play with the base perks and we're gonna see how we do. I do have a fourth perk slot. I kind of want to find something to stop the durations of I will not stuns. Be. So we're going to try Hex 2 can play with this build. It says anytime you are stunned or blinded by any survivor two times, if there is no Hex totem associated with the Hex, with Hex 2 can play, a dull totem becomes a Hex totem. Survivors who, are, who stun or blind you are blinded for one and a half seconds. This does not affect uh, carried survivors. This is going to kind of work with the Dark Arrogance. This is going to try and make this duration of stun a little less on us because they'll be blinded. They might run into a wall and just stop. Uh, so we'll we'll see how the how these work out. And then there are different add-ons and such. I'm going to go ahead and run a Mori just so you guys can see the Mori in-game. I know there's the option to view it without the game, but I think it'd actually look way better in-game. I'm going to use the Cypress Mori because it's the best one I have. Grant the ability to kill the last survivor by your hand during the next trial. I might not get to use this, but I mean, you're not going to know until you fucking try it. 
And then we have a bunch of different add-ons we can use as well. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Ring of Spell Storing to decrease our cooldown by all of our spells for four seconds. And then because a lot of people seem to actually be able to dodge the Flight of the Damned, we're gonna use the Lantern of Revealing to make this a little easier on ourselves. Look at him standing there just so fucking menacingly. Oh my God. Look at him, fucking menacing as fuck. Nice ass. All right, so yeah, we have Vile, uh, Vile Darkness, which lets us cycle our four spells. Each spell is on a separate cooldown. So we don't have to worry about like, oh, we used Flight of the Damned. We can't use Dispelling Sphere. So we'll go ahead and actually just send that. You can also see on the left, like there are certain, uh, they have, you can see what magic abilities they have and such. So if I'm fast enough, I can actually quick equip a spell. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and use Fly here to gain some fucking ground. And then, She's looking for a pallet, but I don't want to let her do that. I want to get her before she gets to a pallet. There we go. Nice. She ran me into the corner of the map because she knows I'm gonna, you know, I want to obviously hook her. And I'll, she keep me next to this pallet. That's totally fucking fine. And on she goes. All right, that's active. We'll send that straight to that gen. Oh, they're doing the gen that was coming over. To See, they can get in the middle of it. Yeah, here's Killer Shack. This is gonna, this will be a nightmare. They unhook that person, that's fine. Yep, go back in. See, shout out to this guy. He's not just fucking using and abusing the fucking. Manipulate. Yep. I'm just not using. Yes! They have two gens down already. Yeah, they have two gens done, and I only have two hooks. So this looks like a fat L for me. Yeah, I hate the fact that they can dodge it. Yep, they unhooked them. I hit both of them with the... Uh, with the spheres, because they both have the effect. <laughs> nice. There we go. I need to, yeah, I need to get some of these survivor numbers down. <laughs> I haven't hit, see, you can just crouch and dodge it. It's insane. <laughs> to the skies. Oh yeah, you fucked up. Oh no, I fucked up. I just got juked super hard. Okay, Mage Hand is ready in case he wants to drop a pallet or something. No, he's gonna try and make it to the window. Yes, I got him. Come here. Hypnotic pizza down. I don't have a hex active, which sucks because I'm clearly not using the perk the way I should be then. Oh, I haven't been stunned, that's why. Duh. I need to get stunned for the hex to be active. They're gonna go save him, but I need to check these gens. Um, I'm gonna send that that way in. See uh, what information I can get. These two gems. I'm gonna act like I don't see that person. Yep, there we go. Yep, got them. Nice. They're just gonna stall me here so that their teammate can get that. Let's see, they're gonna run me into. Oh, of course they are. Nice. Okay, this. Oh, no way, man. Like the crows. I, the flight of the dam, it's a, kind of annoying that you can just crouch and dodge the whole thing. This makes Killer Shack actually better for them, but I really need this kill. Nice, she's dead. Okay, yeah, they're probably. These guys seem to be working on multiple gens at the same time at all times. Oh, they have so many gens in so many parts of the map. Yep, there, there's that guy. I have to fucking chase this guy. I don't- I almost don't have a fucking choice. He's gonna wait as long as he can. Yeah, my god, we're gonna do this charade. I'm gonna buy, play into this guy's game, and I'm just gonna- Yep, play into this guy's game and just run around the killer shack. Thank you for fucking running away, making the game- One more interesting. 
That does allow me to kind of catch up a little bit. Oh. Dude, I'm getting fucking rolled by this guy. It's so annoying, man. There we go. Finally, I needed to kill him. The longer that went on, the worse it got for me. The longer it went on, the worse it fucking got. I can put him in the Killer Shack basement. They, that pallet, I probably honestly should have broken it, but all good. I mean... Okay, there. Okay, that person's over by this. They're gonna probably... Probably gonna save this guy, I would think. Yep. There's one. He's gonna go for the save. He's going for the save. Yep, yep, yep. No way. Are you fucking kidding me? That's... I fucking... I didn't want to... I didn't want to knife the guy that was getting unhooked. Fuck, man. One hundred percent going for the other while I'm doing this. Oh my god, this guy is so fucking good at just running circles around me. It's kind of nuts. Ah, eh, fuck you. You can actually no, no, not fuck you. I'd rather just chase this guy and let everyone else win. He's gonna hit this pallet again. He's gonna drop it, force me to break it. And he's gonna run somewhere else. Yep, that guy just got unhooked. I'm gonna you try and he's gonna go. Yep, nice fucking try, pussy! God, I fucking I need to get way better at this fucking I am so shit. God, that guy is actually really fucking good. He ran me in circles for ages. Where'd this guy go? Oh, hello. I think he wants that pallet. I think he just saw it. Wow, I went on an elevated surface, so... Oh my god. What am I doing? What am I... What am I fucking doing? Cursed flame. <laughs> yep, good try. Nice. This last guy's probably gonna find the hatch and get out, which is... It happens, I gotta let it happen. Cause I think this guy's dead. Oh, yeah, he was beasting out that gen. He's probably, he might come for the save. He just let this guy die. That is kind of crazy. He's not on either door. Where is this guy? Is he looking? He's waiting, he's waiting for hatch. Well, I'm not gonna be able to use my Mori. That's kind of annoying. Ah, uh, there's the hatch. Yep, I fucking knew it. Did not go for the save on his teammate and went for the hatch. I fucking knew it, man. Team game, but play for yourself. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. The We're gonna change the lantern of revealing to the ring of telekinesis, so it decreases the time it takes Mage Hand to lift the pallet by 35%. We're also gonna change Hex Tukum play because I didn't get stunned, like, at all. We're gonna do batteries included because my only way to, like, down survivors is through the flight of the damned. And considering how easy that is to dodge, you just crouch. All you have to do is crouch. If it's going right, just crouch, you'll dodge it. Let's try and get a little bit more move speed. And we're gonna get one more try with the Cypress Mori. Also, I don't know why, why Shrine of Secrets... It says the shop can't be vis visited while searching for a game, but it just says the Shrine of Secrets is disabled. If, for, for some reason, you guys... Like, maybe it's just when I'm looking for a game, I can't visit the Shrine of Secrets. But if there's anything good in the Shrine of Secrets that I should keep an eye out for, considering I put, I literally only play killer, let me know and I will pick it up. I have so many iridescent shards, I just I just keep stacking them. Okay, Forgotten Ruins, the de the decimated Borgo. This looks like it could be. Oh, this is the new map, right? This this is this is the new map. Oh shit. Okay, that's a double layer map. Oh, I hate double layered maps. It's like a free two gens down there. All you have to play do is play not like a dumbass, and you can. There's three gens down there? Okay, so 
Basement's right here. Oh, hello. Alright, come here. Come here. Yep, she went the other way. I don't know if there's any pallets nearby. But... Oh! I, ever since I found out you can hold the... Hold that butt. Hold the attack button to... Like... Yep! You're pissed. You're fucking... Oh, I swung and missed. I, no, I'm pissed. She wants that pallet! You got her. I didn't... Okay, so I have ba I have the batteries perk on where when I run past that completed gen, I get a speed boost. So, hopefully, I can make really good use of that this game. Because people typically get down to a 2 gen on me really quickly. Because I suck. This map looks actually fantastic. Oh, what the fuck is this? this can I go through this? Oh! Oh my god! That is so sick! Okay, I'm just gonna launch this at you, and if it hits you, then cool. If not, I'm gonna break this. That is so sick! Okay, so that helps definitely with the flooring problem. Did not mean to hit that guy with it, but I did. No. I need Mage Hand active, Mage Hand active. Yep, he didn't expect- That guy did not expect it to go that way. Okay, so we're gonna pick this guy up right here. Um, go all the way over here, past this completed gem. Using the haste that I got. I love perks that just activate on their own. You don't have to do anything fancy. It makes it like... Okay, that gen is... Yep, I knew that gen would get done. Oh, I hear her. Hello. Thought it was good old Nicolas Cage back on this. Don't run over to that pallet. Nice, thank you. It's not gonna tag her, is it? Nope, too slow. Yes! Oh, I didn't think I'd get her. Nice, that person's still on the hook up there. I wonder if they'll hit the second hook. I don't think they do. Okay, he's dead. Or that guy is... I'm just gonna go back and get that guy because I don't think he realizes that... I know he's there. A suitable sacrifice. Hello. That's fine. Oh my god, let me switch the spells, damn you! Yes! I finally downed someone with it, yes! Oh wait, no he's not. Come on. Come on, I can make that, I can make that, I can make that, I can make that, make that, yes! Alright, two people on hooks in the basement. Oh, what's up, man? I, like, couldn't stop him from running. Right. God, why is that pallet so fucking on such a wide doorway? It's not gonna block the whole thing, is it? Oh, hello. Yep, and he's down. Okay, I need to get this last guy. I'm not gonna get to use it again, I don't think. Because this last guy isn't on the second- I don't think I've hooked him one time, actually. Die by my hand. See where he went. Yep. He saved that guy. Fuck. He still has resistance, man. Still has resistance. Okay, I'm just gonna hook this guy and get him. No, fuck you. Fuck you. Get back here. Fuck you. Nice. Now I'm going back for my fucking guy. Come here. Bong. Hmm. They can both full heal too, so this is gonna make this a little harder if I don't find them. I don't think they're gonna come down here. You Oh, mage hand. Oh, he went through it. What's up, bitch? How are you doing, pussy? <laughs> Got that guy. There we go. Yeah, 
I don't know what you're doing. Nothing else you can do now, sunshine. Yep, you didn't expect me to go this way, did you? He's gonna jump that. He's gonna jump it. He's gonna... I hit it. Nice, he's down. Yes! Give me the artifact. Wait. What the... Oh! I can't even see it! What the fuck? I wanted to... Oh my god, I didn't even get to see it. So, if they have an artifact, I can just insta-kill them? That didn't... Because that. that wasn't the Mori. Oh, that's cool as shit, actually. I'm pissed I didn't see it. I'm gonna have to go on YouTube. So, this is the Mori. Since I didn't get to show it, I want to show you guys the Mori. This is the Mori right here. He has multiple Moris. Yeah, I just actually also found that out. So, whoever rolls a 20 and grabs an artifact out of a chest, they'll, they'll give Vecna a unique Mori. This Mori will be for the Eye of Vecna artifact. Damn, the UI is so small. Oh! I would have loved to see that in game. Okay, I would have loved to fucking see that. I presume I won't go looking for the rest, but I presume that the red the, they're similar. But yeah, I'm gonna get this guy to prestige three. Like he's pretty much the only person I'm gonna be upgrading, and then I'll just be stacking blood points. Ooh, we have two times blood points. That makes this even even better. Oh, an ebony mori. I will do another video on Vecna, but the lich when I get him to like when I get all his. When I like, you know, play a bunch of games and stuff, and I think I, what I found is my opinion the best build, I'll do a, a video with all his ultra rare offerings and stuff like that. Fuck, man, this this guy is so fucking cool. I genuinely, really, really like him. But that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a thumbs up in the video. It really helps the channel grow. Let's make sure you enjoy the content. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Until next time, yeah. Sign up for guys. Hashtag guys. I'll see you next video. Bye.